Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. Hot box out. Welcome to another Be Real TV smoke box. I am Dr. Yes, Green yes. Thumb with some legendary friends up yeah, in here. Yeah. The Diggity Doss Effect. I've been here building. crazy, crazy in school. You know, let me just first start off by saying y'all are the shit. You are the shit, bro. I got a story I can tell you that's insanity, brother. You know... There's a lot of good stories from the 90s. You know what I'm saying? True, 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 true. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, yeah. I gotta tell you, like, though, uh, you know, as as an artist and as a as a fan, because you know, a lot of us artists be fanning out on each other and shit. Yeah, true. But when y'all came out, it was such a distinct style and so different, and it was hip hop. It was raw and nobody, it, like, nobody was doing that shit. And then you influenced everybody to start you know flipping it just a little bit different mm. but they could not fuck with you guys and that's mm. i mean you guys influenced even west coast fools i mean you know uh ice cube Facts. you know had had you guys on yeah. on uh Facts. on the chorus in uh check yourself just heard it today fresh off the plane you know what i mean big up to cube for doing that too i mean that I was mean? big that was that a lot was of big. that yeah. that that meant that people were feeling you and at that time artists would like actually endorse other artists and i think that's that was a big thing for you guys in, in my side that, that all of us were like, these motherfuckers are the shit. The right. music, the rhymes, the style. I mean, right. and here we are 20 we fucking, are. You know I mean? 20 years later. You're ready, you're ready, oh. baby. And, you know, it, it just, um, you know, tell us about how, like, you got signed, because I know there's a crazy story in that. Man. Get to it, bro. Get to it, bro. <laughs> how we got signed was... Man, I the night of getting signed, we had already we were in Virginia at the time. I'm from Jersey, from right. Brooklyn, right? Boom. So we met, we at B State, we doing demos. So one morning we hear that EPMD is gonna be down at the uh, local club in Virginia, right? And they were legends. Oh man, yes. EPMD, man, we yo, we dropped everything we were doing. It was like a sign, you as you should have. Right, right, right. Because at that time, everybody on at Virginia State was saying, "Yo, y'all should, y'all should, y'all should." It was like, "Nah, we we want to do it this way." So once we heard EPMD was in town, we made the move. We got down there to see him, and then boom. But it was crazy though because we had just came back from New York. We had just recorded a demo, mm. so we had a fresh one. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Right out the studio, like that. brand new bang. Clap brand your hands. Clap your hands. Yeah. Just did it. We just did clap your Pick hands. Up Dex, boy. What up, Dex? <laughs> okay, so we armed with clap your hands, right? So I'm gonna give you the. We get to the club. Nobody's in the club. We like this. This can't be the club. EPMD is gonna be at tonight. Nobody's there, but we got there super early. Oh. So it's start and the club is this big. Yeah, cause East Coast shit, you know, that right. happens later. This stuff. We looking. Boom, here come these two six foot something dudes. Oh, oh there, there, there they go. There, there the they big, go. With the big <laughs> Def Jam. <laughs> we, right, right. They, like, they look whoa. like security yeah, themselves. Yeah, like, with whoa. the Def Jam jacket. So yeah. we had about five of us in there. So we all locked eyes on them. We was heavy on them. Boom, we get on stage. We do what we do. Part of the story goes crazy. We'll leave that part out just for time's sake. <laughs> right. We don't win the talent show, right? That's the part, crazy part of the story. But it was yeah. kind of some other back scene that we was actually first time we was introduced to politics hmm. if you really look at it yeah and there's a it? lot of politics in man there. Fuck, no, yeah. No, no, so no. boom p grabs us up takes us backstage boom what y'all want a hundred dollars or the record deal and Ooh. these are words like you understand we've been wanting to hear again. yeah it was crazy yo this one chick that we went to school with i gotta say this man you know that we're connected like through epmd because epmd like they they you know obviously you know found y'all and, right. and, and and put the light and shit like that you know they didn't necessarily find cypress hill but they found cypress hill mm -hmm. right they got they used to get like our snippet tapes and they would hear it like who the fuck are these motherfuckers mm -hmm. and then they would play them for other artists and we used to love them i mean we still got much love for them and much respect so we gotta thank eric and parish yeah. for yeah. you know putting dos effects on because it sure. brought a whole different style to hip-hop because sure. at that time styles were changing a lot yeah what what made you come up with that style like what was the birth of that shit? Uh, probably what we're doing right now 
just <laughs> blazing, <laughs> fucking with words. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember though, you know, we were out the loop of the New York scene when yeah. we were writing Dead Serious. And, and we were always fans of hip hop, though, like everybody else, yeah. right? So, I mean, some of our dudes, I mean, like Kane, we can recite his lyrics and, right. you know, so Front we were all. Back. Yeah, right. So we were always MCs, MCs. Now, when it comes to the actual content, why did we want to say what we wanted to say? You know, we just come from the school of like what I just said. Yo, did you hear what he said? Oh, that was fresh. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, if you check a lot of Scoob's rhymes from the first album, you'd be like, that, that was fresh. Because you guys started a lot of terminology, too, though. You right. know, like, a, a lot of the shit that people would start saying on the streets and shit. Like Yo, that, my, you know I, I, if, if I'm not too high, but I can't remember people really saying, hold it down before we really said. I mean, maybe they did, but no. I could really distinctly remember thinking during the second or third album, whenever it was, they were like, yo. Though uh, you put stamps on certain things, that's for sure. That There's sure. no doubt that y'all had that influence. No diggity. <laughs> <laughs> no diggity. <laughs> you know, fucking you had Teddy Riley yeah, on the no, for Black Street. Wow. No diggity, baby. So we you influenced know? the R.B. too. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. and that was the that was the reach, you know what I mean? And, and, and I think that's why it still stands out now. Like, if you put that shit on in a club now, yeah. motherfuckers still bang their heads to that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, that, it's like the, that stands the test of time, that type of shit. You know, it's longevity. We, we had it good, I think, our generation of hip hop. Because we, we, we reaped the benefits of, of these record deals that were way different now. Yeah. Like, it's a different game yeah. to the way you got to make money in music yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You know, we yeah. came at a time where you sold records and there it was. There it was. These days you gotta, you know, flip it yeah, and, and do some different things yeah. out the box and not worry about record sales so much. Yeah. The shows and other yeah. things and yeah. other endeavors and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that? Like, it, it, has it been easy for y'all to adapt to that change? Man, I'm, I'm so not a, uh, like, social media dude. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Like, and, and it's, that part right there was tough for me to really try to, you know, get involved with that world. Because right. Because it's new. Yeah, it's new. different. And it's like, yo, I don't have time to be on the computer it's new. all day. And like, I, I'd rather be in the studio. You feel me? Yeah. And you know what I found, too, with our fans as well, is to piggyback off what you said, a lot of our fans, they're not in touch with social media as well. They're, right. They're in they grew up with you, right. like with you. Right. You know, they're busy raising families, doing whatever. Right. Exactly. But if they happen to come across our social media site, yes. they would follow, they like, they yeah. would do all that. Going on. But right. they're, and I think uh, that's part of the adjustment. Not only us as artists, but our fans right. had to adjust. Right. Yeah, the older fans had yeah. to adjust. Yeah. Because you're right, a lot of them, you know, they had go, go get married, have kids, or whatever, they get right. older, and they got the everyday life to live. Right. When you're a kid, right. you know, mom and pop's giving you dough, you right. go spend your money on music right. or whatever. Right. Right. These days, that shit don't even happen. Wow. Kids don't even got to spend money on music. They just no. go, there it is, right the there. Oh, it's on their shit. So yeah. that, that's why it's like, you, you, there's all this music for that you do, and you put your time behind it. It's got to go for free. You, gotta, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. For Really, for it to resonate these days, because yeah. just unless you're a pop star, nobody fucking buys that much music, right, right, you know? Right. It's a different but that's the thing about the social networking, I think, that gives us the advantage of now. Course. Like, if we can harness it right. and, and use it to our advantage, it, it actually cuts a lot of these middle men and middle right. pieces out yes. right. that we can do the work that we want to do how we want to do it. Do you feel like you got more freedom now than, than, of course, than back that day? But it's what you just said. You know what the internet is? It's like uh, one of these X Men superpowers that you gotta harness it. If you could harness that one mega right. power of the internet and expose it and explore it for what it really is and benefit from it, that's how I think we could. You know what I mean? Now, see, that's what, <laughs> see, see, that was the thing. Some people. Some people fucking realized where it was going, so they fucking mm. took that fan base and said, okay, send us your email address, subscribe yeah, yeah, to right. this fucking blah, 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 and every month we're going to hit you with information online. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cut out all the paper shit, blah, blah, blah. You want a picture? Okay, we'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah. And I think some people caught on early to it, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And 
and some of us from that time kind of ignored it like a lot of like a lot of record companies ignored what was going on with this and that's why they took losses and that's why like groups like ours we came in at the perfect time because we built our foundation we built our base and now the way that it's shaken up so much we can go on without a major yeah, yeah. record company yeah, yeah. And be okay yeah, and be okay yeah, yeah. it's the newer ones that have to do yeah, do yeah. the dirty work yeah, like yeah, real yeah. dirty work yeah. to get out there and, and get it but they're getting it and the technology is available it's just like i said you know it's it's up to us to recognize it and recognize the positive it can go right. for us i mean we have no choice we have no choice right. because we still have a lot of music to make yes right of course i mean you guys are still oh, making shit boy, you guys I mean, are still yeah, touring that's, all that that's, stuff that's the easy part you yeah. understand the, the intricate part and hard part is now how do we throw the music over that long ass bridge to back to the fans and rope everybody's ass across exactly because it's it's a slow process i think y'all if y'all motherfuckers didn't know these legendary motherfuckers are still doing shit and putting out some new shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But check out our social media. Listen, weird, yo, effects, let me all tell that you good something. Stuff, you know? My pen game is still right, you know? too. I mean, come on, you know. No, we're we from it. that time where it had to be. You wanna know what? Can I tell my story now? Yes. I was just gonna I was just gonna ask you that. So, um, what I'm leading to right now is just about like inspiration. You feel me? And, and, and that's what it started from, for me. You know what I'm saying? So, I distinctly remember we were going to some freaking party. We was crossing the Manhattan Bridge, right? And we just listening. It could have been like, you know, Mr. Magic or somebody, whoever was on. Right. Right. Marley Moore, whoever was on. Stretch Bobito. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I hear this freaking record and these fucking kids, these dudes are talking about this little piggy did. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> So I swear to you, if the speaker was on the floor in the door, I got on the floor wow. and put my ear to that. That's crazy. Because I had to understand what was going on. Because I, I heard what was going on, right. but it was something different. Like he talked he talk about some <laughs> other shit in a different you. way. He was calling you. I'm like, I mean, yo, I'm what the you. fuck you? I'm like, That's crazy. I'm with you, kid. No, I hear my you. story. I'm with you. That's man. you don't. Nah, because we ain't even. I know this is about us, and I don't know like how, but son, when y'all dudes, problem, yo, because how we did it was, we used to gravitate to what was popping, and once we got y'all stuff, what's he hey, talking yo, about? I, I, I gotta tell you, what's he saying? Kid, you you I, guys I, had I, the same effect when yeah, I heard y'all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's. I think because that's that connection. I yeah. think we were connected in many yeah. ways yeah. and didn't yeah. really know it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, you know, whenever y'all shit came on, we were like fucking with it. You yeah. know what I mean? So it was definitely a mutual respect yeah. here, yeah. my brother, because yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? And they need to, for me, for me, what I'm saying is, okay, let's say when they used to have one and six in park, right? When they throw on the new Drake, yo, they need to throw on after that the new Cypress or new Be Real. Yeah. So that it's like this now. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah, they don't hold it Makes down sense. like that. Yeah. They're that's like, what. They're the now, now, now shit, right? Now. You know what I'm saying? But that's what we're here for. And you that's, know what I'm that's politics too. Right. So, so, politics. I mean, so listen, I know, I know you ain't chiefing these days. You know what I'm saying? Oh nah, yo, I just tasted. Oh it, you was oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Ah. Listen, we don't get on stage till twelve, so I'm okay. good. Like, yeah. Okay, I feel you. Know what right. yeah. what, what's what's your favorite strains you like to chief? Like when you, wherever you're at, in Amsterdam, Cali, whatever. Man, they had this shit called. Uh, uh, what was it? It was some. It was a dark name. He remember said, that? Nah, like, I can't. It was some Uzi something. It was something remember. crazy. Nothing. But I do remember that because when you go to Amsterdam, you actually yeah. go on the AK-47. AK-47. Ah. Ah. AK-47. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, my, I can't Come even on, tell man, you, kid. I'm sorry. There, I might even say something. That's what I'm saying. But you go up in there and there's a million. Yeah, for sure. So for many sure. I remember. But me, the, if, if it's good, it's good. Like if what you just hooked us with. Ding. And that you would be it? some oracle cookies, right, Chell? You know what I'm saying? We Put the thing on my, my teeth. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll take a cookie. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got the, this, the smoking kind of cookie. You we'll know it. And we, got the, and we smoking them on funky field tips, too, Shit. just so you know what I'm you saying. Know. You know what I mean? Shit. You know, what would you say to a fan right now that that is, like, looking to you for inspiration? You know, like, 
what what would be the words that you would say to him? Like if he was trying to do music right now. Don't stop. I mean, what I used to say to them back in the day was with that same question, yo son, I would say always walk with your tape because you never know who you'll see. Always be ready with a 16, yeah. things like that, which is to me the given. But I would just say really just don't stop because there's going to be a lot of yo, give it up, don't do it, you shouldn't do it. It's not going to work. And now you don't really need those people. You can just <laughs> go to your fucking homie's so, crib who's got pro tools. Man, or talk, about about it. talk about it. <laughs> talk about Knock it. Knock it out. So, you could be rapping a week. Right. Rapping a week. Before you had to rap for six Come months. Come on now. <laughs> or Come eight, a now. year, two, three. That's why this years, is a different man. game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right now, a little kid that's 12 years old could do something totally meaningless and get a million views. True that. And possibly get a record deal. True that. Right? So that's why the game is, you see what I'm saying? And, 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 and what, would you, what, would, what would you tell them? I would tell them, um, do your homework. Because, you know, just because it's hip hop, doesn't mean that you shouldn't take it as serious yeah, as other true. musicians right. or other, you know, artists, period. Just do your homework. Music is music, man. You can learn from all types of genres of music, man. And, and you know, if you're nice with it, get nice with it. But, you know, see what's out there. There's a lot of shit out there that you can learn from. That's, that's real talk, you know man. I mean? Because a lot of the, the, the best artists learn from other artists. Exactly. For sure. And that's just real shit. I mean, that's not saying they stole from them. No. It's just saying they, they saw the get down, was inspired by it, right. and started getting down. You know, it. You know what I'm saying? You know it. This has been a Be Real TV smoke box with my people's Dots yeah. Facts oh, legends yo. in the game. Where can they get at you? <laughs> yo, Instagram, official Dots Effects, Crazy Drazy, School Boogie Bang, Twitter, Dots Effects NYC. All you know, that. All that, man. Facebook, you know, all just, that. Yeah, at us, man. You know, we yeah. here, man. That's right. Leave a comment. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. Fuck with DOS Effects. Yeah. They still putting it no. down. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Boom. That's Boom. what's up. Yeah. Let me welcome you to the smoke box.